Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to draw this, a cute mug. And as you can see here, it's not that very complicated. And you can draw another mug too if you want and make it like a cute couple, uh, mug couple I guess, drawing. But anyhow, let me show you the materials you will need for this drawing. And remember, I'm uh, using the same piece of paper for the picture collage, at, like the drawing collage. So I'm going to be using that same piece of paper, an eraser, a sharpener for your color pencils slash pencils, some pencils, a black marker or a pen, and the colored pencils which I am going to be using are sky blue, aqua green, red, and pink. So these are all the materials. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm gonna be working in this area as probably I already told you. So the first step of the mug is to draw the top. And so that's gonna be like this. And then this way, down a bit. And then, and leave some space at the top so that you can draw the steam coming out. And then there's just a little bit over here and then you curve like a mug would. Sometimes you would need to erase because it's not that much. But yeah, okay, so curve and then do a inner curve again like this and then draw a line down like that. And then draw from here so that you can fit your mug. And then draw the bottom like that. And then draw a heart here like that. And then next we can draw the eyes. So just like do a circle here and a circle here. And then draw a little smile here. And then do the steam, which is kind of like a S, like that, like that, and like that. But at like an X backwards. And then what you need to do is you need to draw kind of like a circle here, an inner circle here and then a tinier circle here, and then the same thing for the other eye. Circle here and a tiny circle here, and then you can color that in with your marker. And then that's all basically, just next, all you have to do is uh, like trace. So I'm going to do the tracing. So now that we have it traced, as you can see here, I'm just gonna be extra careful and go and erase any pencil marks that I have. Yep, that looks good and look at that cute little face. And so here, then basically once you've erased everything, you can add a little bit more detail with your red, uh, sorry, black pen and you can add like a little bit more but I think I'm good since I also if you um, saw in the uh, 
when I was tracing, I uh, went over with a monarch pen just to make sure the lines that I want can be thick. So, uh, I would say the only time I used the monarch pen was to make sure everything was thick. And because this is just easier to color with the monarch pen and easier to trace with the monarch pen. So once you're done with that, you can color. And like I mentioned before, I'm using these four colors. I'm gonna blend these two for the hearts. And then I'm gonna use these two for the uh, rest of the mug. And that's basically it. So next I'm going to color with these and you can see how I color. But let me just show you an example. Uh, so I'm just gonna color with the lighter color first and then I'm gonna color with the darker color on top so that it makes kind of like a color combination like this. And then I might color, go over it again with the lighter color so that it's lighter. And that's it, basically. So, uh, and then I'm gonna speed up my coloring so that it's easier to like watch because uh, it's probably not the best idea to just look at the clip. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna start coloring. we're done with this if you uh, want to actually like make it less lighter um, you could do a different color like turquoise but I like to combine colors so they make like a beautiful color so I'm just uh, if you want to make it lighter just erase some of it like this and it becomes pretty light or just go over it with the, your lighter color and that's basically it. If you want to color the background, you can, but I'm gonna do a, like a white collage. So it'd be weird if I just colored this. But yeah, if you want, you can color it. But yeah. And this is a finished product. It looks pretty good and it's actually really good. It might, uh, you can make like a, miniature one or you can make like a giant one i just did like a medium size mug just to fit like more pic uh like more drawings and pictures on my pages but that's it thank you so much for watching and i hope you like this video bye